guys to part four of creating um, this amazing project page from my favorite uh, digital agency studio called Malbach. Um, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to interpolate or smoothly interpolate between two uh, values. So for example, we have, a, if we um, enter and we leave yeah, the, the, the title, we see that the image slightly rotates um, to different position, but what's important is that is, um, it has a transition. Yeah? It goes smoothly to a next um, value. And if we inspect here, uh, let's go um, yeah, to the image. Sure what, yeah, is this one? And if we pay attention to the rotation here, we see that it smoothly interpolates through between two degrees, yeah? That's what we're gonna build, or this little function we do, we're do, gonna do is, will be the uh, fundamental base for um, the, the next um, animations of the, the image, like scaling, like opacity, small transition between opacity and um, a rotation, yeah? Um, Great, let's go back to our code here and we will create a function here. Let's call it animate, animate.js. So what animate will do is we'll, um, we'll take two values. One is like a from and two, and we will pass it uh, through a request animation frame will uh, have a tick function. So this tick function will kind of um, uh, take care of uh, how much time we are left to until this method call is ended. And um, inside of it will have this uh, calculation of ne the next value. So let's uh, call this uh, const animate. So let's function yeah export let's export the default export default uh, function animate and this function will take an object and the object will have this value so from from value to value so on update uh, and we probably need on complete. Also, we need the duration of how much. And we need um, an easy, easy uh, method. So easy method is uh, these uh, easing methods you see in in um, CSS, like linear, like easy out, like a cubic uh, function maybe. But we can uh, actually in behind is just uh, a regular uh, function and we can do it in JavaScript as well. Um, so a easy method and here we'll make use of, uh, of a function called performance now, perform performance now. So uh, so performance row now um, returns so returns a, a time in milliseconds. Uh, so and elapsed since time origin, yeah. Return a value since time origin. So if we will call here in console performance dot now. We see that these values it's and it's changing uh, each time in millisecond. So this is a perfect fit for us to to calculate how um, how much we we are we are left between uh, updates. So we we need to to um, store the start time. So performance now, and here we'll need a function arrow function and this function will be called here and 
this function will uh, have a new variable called elapsed and we want to check how much time um, has elapsed since this function was initially called so we we know that the performance now returns um, how much it's from the beginning and we we uh, subtract this with the start time uh, not sure why I did this here minus minus start time so we have here a, a constant of uh, how much it it's been since we we started uh, or we call the animate function and here inside we'll have a windows request animation since we want to run it um, smoothly and this uh, request animation will return return um, the on update function uh, parameters yeah so one it will be the updated value and another one it will be um, a callback function and this callback function will either be uh, calling again tick or calling on complete so we'll see in a moment so here um the get will the value will need to write up here another function const so function get value um, and here we'll need the get value and as the second parameter which is a call callback callback it's uh we're gonna check two things so if elapsed is smaller or equal to duration we will call tick again otherwise we'll call on complete and for the get value we will have to pass from value to value elapsed duration and easy is method yeah. let's get them from from uh, So here we'll check if elapsed is uh, greater than duration, we'll just return um, end. Did uh, the duration for, well, we did the animation for 60, 600 seconds, then that means that we completed our animation and we want to return the two value. Yep, here otherwise we'll compute something and this computing is um, a function so we will return so we want to add start plus end minus start and we will multiply to to the is um, is method so i'm having here um a gist from this dude three yeah so what it has is um, some easing functions so we have linear here let me zoom a little bit yeah so we have linear here which is just the timing function we have um, a quad which is uh, t square we have a cubic um, and all of these functions i'm not gonna go uh, in them if you want to breathe more maybe i'll drop some um some articles in the comments or in the description but what we need is to get this function and pass the current time time uh, to it so we will have this uh small delta that we will multiply to our result so let's copy this it's a row yeah um let's copy and so let's create this as const const using let's save and we will need to multiply this value by by something which is 
um, easing and we get the is method method and then we pass the is t as elapsed minus uh, duration and yeah we have here start and we need to call it in our our uh, component let's uh, go and uh, update the um, dispatching of the opacity through the help uh, of our animate.js so we could have this uh, great transition to the opacity the const handle opacity is uh, initial opacity new opacity and duration how much we want and this will um, let's see we'll call the animate function we imported it and from value is initial opacity to value is um, new new opacity um, and we have this on update function the so on update function as you remember uh, we get the val new value new 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 opacity let's call it and a callback yeah and this new opacity we can dispatch it to use reducer to type change uh, opacity and with a payload of new opacity and we need to call that callback so this uh, function runs again um, on complete we need just nothing here duration is uh, this duration and the is uh, method is an is method that we are gonna create let's see we're gonna create here is method and for this is method i will use the is uh, in out cubic cubic so if we go back to animate.js and is in out is in out cubic yeah so we will return this uh, timing function call the handle opacity handle opacity let me see so when we mouse enter uh, let's move this a little bit upwards yeah so when we enter the mouse we don't need to run this dispatch anymore but what we're gonna do is um, handle that opacity uh, handle, handle opacity handle opacity so we want to go from one to zero and to, and the function to be one eight hundred mill, milliseconds and here when we leave the the mouse we also need to go back to what we had before so one zero when we enter we go from zero to one when we leave we go from one to zero. and we change uh, the timing a little bit yeah so we see that we have the timing interpolation between um, values and if we go here and type linear yeah the the opacity goes much much um, faster and we we go here and let's say one five hundred you see how how um, low it goes but yeah uh, this is this is all to to you um you can change it what however you want yeah guys um thank you for being here for part four um i'm really excited to for our uh, next parts we have we already have the base now we want to need to build this uh, more interactive stuff and uh yeah uh thank you for being here and if you are not subscribed please do it 
um, I need it. <laughs> See ya.